Hey guys, Sally here. Thanks for stopping by today. Um, I'm going to start right off with please subscribe if you haven't already and if you think you have, double check to make sure you still are because YouTube has been spontaneously unsubscribing people for reasons that none of us understand. Today I want to talk to you about five reasons that I am healthier living as a full-time nomad. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss this. Let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, let's talk about uh, five reasons why I am healthier living as a nomad than I would be in a conventional sticks and bricks. Uh, and this is one of them right here. Even if I had him in a conventional sticks and bricks, I'd be getting less physical activity because, you know, I'd turn him out in the yard more often than not. But living as a full-time nomad uh, means that I get to go explore new places. We do a lot of hiking together. Uh, I like to do some biking. I actually don't have my bike with me at the moment because he's not ready for biking. But I engage in a lot of other outdoor activities and so forth. And so the increased physical activity contributes to improve, improved cardiovascular health. It does help with weight management and it helps with overall fitness. Um, and I can really see the difference in cardiovascular health. I use an iPhone and you know I use the health app to, um, to track all the stuff that I've got going on. And I can see my VO2 max increase pretty significantly because of all the walking and hiking that I do. Uh, you know, like just with Kit, three times a day, pretty much every day. And then, of course, we get to be out in fresh air in nature, and, you know, traveling throughout the United States in an RV allows me to immerse myself in the beauty of nature. And even when I'm not, I mean, even when I'm not actually traveling, traveling, I see things differently. So spending time in natural environments provides a number of health benefits, including reduced stress levels, improved mood, increased vitamin D production from exposure to the sunlight. You know, there's a reel that's been going around on Instagram lately that people have been using to uh, talk about, he wants to go bark, to talk about getting all this uh, therapy through Mother Nature. And it's, it's really true. I mean, it's, you, you know, you get mental health improvement from going out on a walk. And I've seen another one uh, that I think the thing that it says is, you know, I can't guarantee that going for a walk is going to solve all your problems, but essentially it certainly isn't going to hurt anything. So the more time you spend in, in nature, the better. Um, another thing is kind of varied diet, and this is a double-edged sword for me. So before I became a full-time nomad, I was super strict about all of the things that I ate. You know, I was basically all organic, grass-fed, and you know all that kind of thing but because of the places that I travel now it's pretty difficult to maintain truthfully and so I end up eating things that previously I wouldn't necessarily have eaten. The outcome of that is that I have picked up a little bit of weight and again I'm, I'm kind of okay with it because I'm, I feel pretty fit overall I'm super super healthy and one of the things that that's done for me is helped me to better understand how to compromise. I had, uh, have always had a tendency to be really super rigid in everything that I do. Once I decide something needs to be a certain way, it is that way all the time. That's just the way I am. And so uh, in this case, having to adapt my diet um, has, has helped to reduce that rigidity. So the upside of it is that as I travel through different regions, I get to try local cuisines. Uh, I do still go out of my way to eat as much, um, you know, fresh produce as I can. I like to get the regional specialties. I like to have the healthier food options, but I've also learned that I can't always get exactly what I want. Embracing a diverse and balanced diet does provide essential nutrients and it supports my overall well-being. I don't overall well-being. I used to be able to speak. I don't take any supplements whatsoever. Uh, I subscribe to Hippocrates' uh, statement of let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. And so far over the past five, six years that's been working really, really well for me. So the uh, fourth thing that makes me believe that I am healthier living as a full-time nomad is stress reduction. So 
I have a simpler and a more minimalistic lifestyle than I ever used to. And in fact, I've been, uh, I've been at my sticks and bricks still living in my RV because I turned my house into an Airbnb, which seems to be always occupied now. And while my guest has been at work during the day, I've been going through every single cabinet in Isaac and offloading all the stuff that I don't need. It's really kind of surprising to me how much less even than I thought I needed, I actually need. So, and that's one thing that really does help to reduce stress. The less stuff you have and the more organized your environment, the less stress you have in your life. It just always works that way. Um, and of course, being away from the pressures of a fixed location, I don't have work-related stress. I don't have the daily routines that can help uh, induce stress. I now have daily routines that help to reduce stress levels. Uh, having the freedom to explore and to adopt the new surroundings every week or couple of weeks promotes relaxation, mental well-being, and a healthier mindset. I have more time to meditate. Um, I really enjoy not being stuck with the things that we often feel stuck with when you're living a conventional lifestyle. And then the fifth thing is having a connection with nature and community. So obviously closer connection with nature, we talked about that a little bit already. Also the opportunity to engage with diverse communities all across the United States, which can foster a sense of belonging. It's nice to have the social interaction and it's an opportunity for personal growth. Positive social connections and a sense of community have been linked to improved mental health and overall well-being. And the thing that is so important to understand about the full-time nomad life is that community is way more important than people may realize, uh, and certainly more important than I realized. In fact, when I started this journey, I thought that I was going to be, you know, besties with all of my friends and acquaintances from my Sticks and Bricks life. And we're still in, in close contact, but I think to a certain extent, I have difficulty understanding their lifestyle now, and I think the same thing is true for my friends and acquaintances, they have difficulty understanding mine. And so that's another opportunity to stay clear about, you know, what kind of community you really So this is what's been true for me. And... Part of what's true for me is that um, getting that sense of community happens by doing things like meetups, by staying in contact with your tribe, by establishing your tribe. And I have been fortunate to become friends with a number of people that no matter where we are, because we're all scattered all over the place right now, but we're still staying in contact. and. That's something that even if you're alone, you don't need to be lonely, right? So you can still be interacting with people and having that experience. The thing that, that I look at, and I, and I did this, you know, even when I was full-time working in my real estate brokerage that I had before I decided to close it last year, um, but I apply this to all aspects of my life as, as well, and that's working within a model of alignment. So uh, working within a model of alignment can give you the opportunity to employ a vision. So my vision, my purpose is to inspire people to do whatever it is that they truly want to do, to live out their dreams, to, to get what they want to accomplish. That might be doing what I'm doing. It might be living as a nomad. It might be something entirely different. It might be learning you know, some completely new thing. Um, but my vision is my vision, and part of that is exploring new places and embracing that simpler, more active lifestyle. So that's you know th that combination of things is really important to me, and certainly inspiring other people. Some of the skills that are needed in this model of alignment uh, include being able to engage in more outdoor out outdoor activities like hiking and biking and exploring nature. I get inspiration by my immersion in natural envir environments. My exposure to fresh air uh, inspires stress reduction. 
improves mood, increases vitamin D production. We talked about that. But then we also need some other things. We need some tools, right? So you need to have something to live in. I happen to live in an RV. I happen to be super blessed. I am incredibly grateful. I was lucky enough that I could embrace this lifestyle without having to sell my house. And, you know, I'm just, I decided to turn it into an Airbnb. I've got a great group of people that I work with, and it has been so successful that that's what allowed me to actually close my real estate brokerage last year and retire from that business so that I can fully embrace uh, the lifestyle of being on the road. So whatever it is, you know, whatever, uh, whatever your vehicle, and I mean that both in terms of physical vehicle or not, um, whatever your vehicle is, that's one of the tools that you need to be able to, uh, to work within your model of alignment. And then, you know, what you need to do is execute. And here's something that I really want to speak to for a minute because when I interview other nomads, one of the questions that I ask most often is, you know, I'm really curious, what's your biggest regret when it comes to living this lifestyle now? And the answer always is, I wish I had done it sooner. Now, in all of the previous interviews that I've done, I've just kind of let that lie, you know, as in, yes, everybody wishes they'd done it sooner. I wish I had done it sooner. Although, I mean, truthfully, two months before I went full-time, I had no idea I was going to be a full-time nomad. Go figure. We never know exactly what's going to happen. But let's talk about that. You know, when I let that statement lie, I wish I had done it sooner. I think that it could be giving some people a false idea that everything on the road is rainbows and unicorns, and it's not. There are a lot of challenges. There are a lot of things you got to figure out. You've got to be able to embrace, you know, all kinds of different skills. You need to be resilient. You need to have uh, some kind of plans in place, although I do much less planning than I ever used to. But you need to, when I say resilient, you need to be able to problem solve you need to be able to pivot when things don't go in the way that you expected them to. You need to be flexible. There's lots of stuff you need to do. And there's actually quite a bit of stuff you should ideally learn before you get on the road. And that's part of the reason that I started the YouTube channel. I'm hoping that, you know, in addition to inspiring people, part of what I can do is, is give some, uh, some tools that are useful for being able to live the nomadic lifestyle. So what I say, and other people say, I wish I had done it sooner. That doesn't mean rush off completely unprepared. It means start doing your homework now. Start doing whatever you can to get ready for what you want to do. And again, if that's being a nomad, that's great. I mean, there's lots of great YouTube channels that you can get information about that. If there's something else that really is your vision and your dream, same thing, YouTube's a great resource you can put in the search bar whatever it is that you're looking for and find more videos than you probably want to see about whatever that is. So, what I know is, by aligning my vision, skills, my inspiration, tools, including all kinds of apps and stuff like that, and executing, living my life as a full-time nomad in an RV while I travel throughout the United States offers a number of health benefits, including increased physical activity, access to fresh air, access to diverse diets, stress reduction, and community engagement. I love what I'm doing. I'd love to hear what you think about what I'm doing. Please leave me a comment down below. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth. Live your best life. Go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.